Welcome to the Using IEEE Explore for a Systematic Literature Review Tutorial. Topics covered in this tutorial include the maximum number of search terms, stemming, wildcards, proximity operators, and search examples. This tutorial will help you take a complex search query and restructure it to work in the IEEE Explore Digital Library. Within IEEE Explore, there are a variety of search options, starting with a global search bar on the home page, which supports both simple, basic searches and command language searching. There is also an advanced search, which is more of a guided way to search. You can access it by clicking on the advanced search link just below the global search bar. You can also get to the command search from the advanced search page. The command search is a free form text box that allows you to do command language searching. All three of these search options provide the ability to search within specific fields, such as the abstract and index terms, as well as support the use of Boolean operators and or not and proximity operators near and O near. The maximum number of search terms in IEEE Explore is 20 per search clause with no limit to the number of search clauses. In this search example, there are three search clauses and each is well within the 20 search term limit. IEEE Explore automatically finds pluralized nouns, verb tenses, and British and American spelling variations, with some exceptions. If I search the word simulate, it will automatically find simulates, simulated, and simulating. It will not find simulator or simulation as those are not pluralized nouns or verb tenses. But I could use an asterisk wildcard to get all variations of a word. IEEE Explore ands terms together by default, so if you enter two or more terms, it automatically looks for both of those terms, but not necessarily as a phrase. For example, if I search for the terms surgical robot, the search engine will find any instances where both terms are present but not necessarily as a phrase or in that order. To search for an exact phrase, place the phrase within quotes. This also turns off the automatic stemming. If I search for surgical robot with quotes around the phrase, IEEE Explore will only find instances where the exact phrase surgical robot appears. This also turns off the automatic stemming, so it will not find surgical robots, plural. But I can use a wildcard within quotes to address that. IEEE Explore supports two wildcards, an asterisk, which stands for any or no characters, and a question mark, which stands for a single character. You can use a maximum of seven asterisk wildcards per search, and you need at least three characters to use a wildcard. The asterisk wildcard can be used at the end of a word, in the middle of a word, or at the beginning of a word. For example, if I search for asterisk technology, it will find the term technology but also any terms that end in technology, such as nanotechnology, microtechnology, and biotechnology. As you are putting together your search strategy, it can be helpful to evaluate each search term or phrase individually. For example, by doing a search for the term wearable, and then a second search for the term wearables, plural, I can confirm that IEEE Explore will automatically find the singular and plural so an asterisk wildcard is not needed. 
However, a search in Explore finds that smartwatch is sometimes used as two words and other times one word. In addition, compound words such as smartwatch as one word typically do not auto stem. And when testing this, I find that smartwatch as one word does not find smartwatches plural. So in this case, I would need to search both smartwatch as one word with an asterisk and smartwatch as two words in quotes with an asterisk. If I am concerned about exceeding the seven wildcard limit, I could search for both the singular and plural versions of the word as long as I have fewer than 20 terms in the search clause. When creating your search strategy, it can often be a matter of balancing these two requirements. Proximity operators allow you to designate how closely your search terms appear to one another by word count. The proximity operator is near in all caps with a forward slash and then the word count, no spaces. So for example, implantable near forward slash five cardiac will find articles with the word implantable within five words of cardiac and cardiac can come before or after implantable. If I want to designate order, I can use O near. So implantable O near forward slash five cardiac finds articles with the word implantable within five words of cardiac, but implantable must come before or to the left of the word cardiac. By default, IEEE Explore searches the metadata. This includes the abstract, the index terms or keywords, and the bibliographic citation data such as document title, publication title, and author. IEEE Explore does support fielded searching. You can search within the full text and metadata or full text only, which will typically broaden your search results. Or you can search within fields such as the abstract or index terms, which will typically narrow your search results. You'll note there are a variety of other search fields within IEEE Explore, including author affiliation and funding agency. You can set up your personal search preferences to override the all metadata search default to always search the full text and metadata or the full text only whenever you are logged into Explore with your personal IEEE account. You can also track your 100 most recent searches and combine them in the search history. Note the search history has a 50 keyword limit in addition to the maximum of 20 search terms per search clause. Here is the first search example that does not work in IEEE Explore. My first step is to break the search down so I can look at each search clause. I can easily see how many keywords there are in each search clause, and in this case, they are all well within the 20 search term limit. I can also determine how many wildcards are being used. In this search, there are a total of 17 wildcards, so I will need to reduce that number by 10. When reviewing search strategies like this one, I regularly see instances of overuse of the wildcard. For example, the word school will automatically find schools, plural, and schooling, so there's no need to use a wildcard here. Same with the terms program and university. So I can quickly eliminate three wildcards. If I'm not sure if a term will auto stem, such as curricula or curriculum, it's easy to test. Simply run a search for the different variations of the search term or phrase and compare the results. In this case, I can see that a wildcard is not needed 
because curricula and curriculum retrieve the same results. In other instances, I may choose to search for both the singular and plural of a search term or phrase in order to eliminate a wildcard, particularly if I am not in danger of exceeding the maximum 20 search terms per clause. For example, ground theory or ground theories and focus group or focus groups. Here is my final search strategy. Each search clause has less than 20 words, and the search has a total of seven wildcards. You can use any of the three search options in IEEE Explore for this search. The global search bar is good if you want to search within the metadata. Be sure to type operators in all caps and nest your search by placing parens around each search clause. How you enter your search makes all the difference in your search results. On the advanced search, you can type each search clause into a single search box. There is no need to use parens here because IEEE Explore automatically nests whatever you type into a single search box. Be sure to combine synonyms with the OR operator in all caps. Use the drop-down menu to search in the full text or a specific field. The command search page works the same as the global search bar, but the command search also includes a drop-down menu so you can easily search within the full text or a specific field. Here's an example of what it would look like if I searched for all of the terms in the full text and metadata on the command search page. Please note that you must include the field name in front of each and every search term and phrase. If you don't, it will search that term in the metadata. If you know you want to search all of your terms within the full text and you prefer to use the global search bar or the command search page, I recommend logging in with a personal IEEE account and changing the default from metadata to full text and metadata to save time and reduce the chances that you get the syntax for the field name incorrect. Here's another example of a search that didn't work in IEEE Explore. You'll notice that the search does not have any parens around any of the search terms and operators. IEEE Explore requires nesting in order to know the order in which to process a search request. So that is the first issue with this search. In addition, a closer inspection of the search reveals that this search string is repeating a set of synonyms connected by the proximity operator to another set of synonyms. So in other words, there are just two main topics here, evaluate and user experience. This type of search can be simplified by creating a search clause for each topic and its synonyms and then combining them with the proximity operator. This concludes the Using IEEE Explore Digital Library for a Systematic Literature Review tutorial. If you have any additional questions about searching in IEEE Explore, please contact us at training at IEEE.org.